Welcome back, and when we last left off, uh, this was the uh, front um, seat braces, or seat mounts, and it was uh, just starting off with the flat mill pass to do the flanges, so here we are switched to the ball mill, and uh, you can see there's the finished product, basically. So again, this is going to be the front and rear of the front seat mounts, so two parts there that will be laid up as one, and then sort of cut down the middle there longitudinally. And this is the left side cowling plug, and so that's uh, been waxed up now and ready to have the um, rubber profile put on there. And this is the uh, air intake uh, tray. So this is a little further on, getting the, f the first uh, round of sanding on there prior to having uh, some primer sprayed on. And this is the center dash stack, getting the first round of sanding on there. Not too many problems with that one. Actually, the mill did a really nice job on that one. And now we're on to milling putty for the rear seat mounts. So the flanges have already been cut with the uh, flat mill, and now it's on the bore mill and just running the length there. So that I think it took about uh, five hours or something to run that one. And here you see it's getting close to being finished on that one, and uh, you can see a nice finish on there so that won't take long uh, to get that one in primer and here's Roberto doing the first round of sanding on the air intake scoop so that one actually didn't require very much work at all because it uh, came off the machine really nicely so as promised things are moving along quickly now And here's Zach uh, working on the uh, center console. So this one had the first coat of primer, I believe. And so this is the first um, round of sanding on the primer. And that's coming out nicely. Nothing difficult there. Okay, so last time I was showing you in the CAD the uh, lower side of the strake with the uh, wheel well. And here it is up on the mill. I'm getting uh, its... Uh, ball mill actually run there right now just cutting down into the wheel well it's quite deep in there so I have to use the long ball mill to finish that off um, but you can see already the face cuts been done and here's the other one so we did the left and the right and so this one I believe is the left hand side one so obviously this is just the rough cut running here And this is the right hand side one uh, off the mill now and, the, and uh, Roberto and Chris are sort of just starting out with uh, glassing it so you can see they've glassed the wheel well there to start out and they're just uh, wetting down the rest of the foam there to put the fiberglass on the remaining areas. And now you can see they're just finishing off here so they've basically covered the whole thing. And this part was, you know, a little bit bigger than what we've been doing recently, so we're starting to get into some larger things here um, from what we're used to, but it's fairly simple, nothing, not really too many tight corners or anything like that, so it went fairly smoothly, fairly quickly as well. And this is Friday, and so we decided to actually run the one for the upper uh, straight skin for the left-hand side, um, yeah, for the left no, for the right hand side and so this was just starting out you know late Friday afternoon and if you recall last time we had welded up these frames and the adjoining little bits of uh, right angle there to meet up with those boards and so here you can see Jeff has put um, a, la a layer of epoxy in between the boards and the right angle um, so that's just sort of not say bonded but that'll be released and then ultimately we'll be able to drill those uh, next week and put the bushings in them and then we'll be able to pop those molds and uh, clean up the edges and then um, start preparing those so we can lay up uh, the actual frames for those doors which will be a good milestone and here's our air intake scoop so that got a first coat of primer and it's uh, the guide coat put on there and subsequently uh, halfway through being sanded so I believe Zach was working on that on Friday And here's the center console, so this had had the two coats of primer and been all sanded, so now that one is ready for waxing. So it won't be long, we'll be ready to uh, pull a mold from that one as well. So we've got a whole bunch of parts uh, or plugs now ready for molds. 
and here's the area intake tray so that's had the first round of sanding after primer so that just needs another another coat of primer and sanding and then that'll be ready for waxing as well and that one's a quick one because just big flat surfaces mainly and this is again the center console stack after the first uh, coat of primer and guide coat so that will still need another uh, coat of primer after this uh, round of sanding and here's that left side lower wing streak uh, plug uh, fresh off the mill and also just sanded around the edges and cleaned up so that one's ready for glassing now and uh, I believe the guys are working on that today um, we'll be glassing that today Roberto and Chris they actually come in and put some hours in on Saturday uh, seeing that they're just part time so that'll be ready uh, to have putty sprayed on it on Monday and be back on the mill along with the other one And lastly, for anybody who uh, drinks coffee or would just like a nice mug, these uh, mugs now with a picture of the Raptor on them are available. There's a link uh, below this YouTube video. And there's also a picture link on the right hand side on the home page of our website. And you can order those, they're $15. And uh, they, they look pretty nice. So anyway, get one of those if you're interested. That's our update for this week. Thanks again for watching.